Hello, we're back playing Rogue Tower. I thought I would be done with this game by now, not in a toxic way, but I recorded a video uh, on YouTube where I thought we would win. I was like, we're definitely going to win. And then, we ended up uh, losing round 40 out of nowhere. Uh, and by out of nowhere, I mean probably a lot of people watching saw it coming. But anyway, uh, let's uh, let's make a casino bet. Will NL win this game? That is round 45, just for the record. Beating round 45. And then hit you with a submission period of one minute. Was there no Super Auto Pets video at noon today? Hold on. Your noon is my nine. There was one. It literally it came out. Hold on. Get audited. It's called The Dog Stays Winning. I'm not making this up. It has 100%... Uh, like to dislike ratio, and it also has 69 likes, which is perfect. I'm not actually going to audit you. Maybe YouTube is having issues. It happens from time to time. Okay, I'm just saying thank you for making me check because that was a nice thing to see. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, I, I honestly feel like I've learned a lot. I've, I've, I've been doing a lot better in Rogue Tower. I just still have never made it to the level that I'm at. You got you to gotta buy more poison sprayers. More poison sprayers would have gotten you and don't take so many tower types. Okay, I understand. But the, the one thing I will say is I'm not going to let anybody gaslight me into thinking that those particle cannons on the plus fives were not crushing it because they were doing what I would consider to be incredible work. There's no doubt in my mind... Early on, we go banditry. What the heck? I put 8k on disbelief. I mean, that's the smart money right now. No question. I'm going banditry too. Everything else, I, I do not care. More gold early. Give me some economic advantages. Thank you so much. This is a great ballista location. I don't know how, like... Uh, the variety involved in the game, I don't know if it's possible to make a full ballista run work and just go deep into ballistas, but, you know, let's not commit to that early. It is, you know, it's only round three. I do love a mortar, don't get me wrong. I don't really love a frost keep. Quickest gamba period ever. Hold on. I'm Look, all, all gamblers, I apologize. I'm actually going to delete the bed. This is the casino's mistake, and I'm gonna remake the bet, okay? Because I'm gonna, I want to give you a longer uh, betting period. There's no reason you shouldn't have ten minutes to bet on this one, because that's the pace at which Rogue Tower works on. So, okay, there you go. Thank God I forgot the bet. You can just remake your bets if you if you didn't bet. If you forgot the bet, this is a chance for you. Okay, you know what? For now, I'm still gonna take the mortar. I just respect it. The Mortar Respector has logged on. And uh, I'm going to toss down a Mortar on this plus three. And I'm going to actually pay attention to its uh, to its superlatives. And then I'm going to hope that this kind of like loops around in a serpentine fashion. I think the Mortar's good. What a shot. You can always go University if you want. But honestly, I, I think uh, let's go... I wouldn't mind having an obelisk, but with no mana base to back us up right now, why don't you give me stronger mortars? And then I would have given the world for you to just turn this way instead, but that's okay. You could still go around this way like a little cinnamon roll. How about that? I mean, this, this is just easy mode. Is this the Monty Hall problem? <laughs> Should I change my bet? No, it's not the Monty Hall problem. If if you misinterpret the Monty Hall problem, um, I definitely do want this, then you're going to end up uh, getting burned as a result. The Monty Hall problem is not... The crux of it is not every time you get the chance to change your bet, you must. The crux of the Monty Hall problem is in response to new information um, that makes your choice easier. Should you change your bet? I think. I don't know. I haven't watched enough YouTube video essays to articulate it effectively, but... Something like that. 
Hello, get poison. How you like in One Piece? You're gonna be mad, okay? Because I've I talk smack about One Piece, having never seen it. Although I did go to Tokyo Tower when they were having a One Piece activation, so I'm very familiar with what some of the characters look like. Um, if this would land, I would be very happy. Oh, thank you so much. I would definitely like Mana Banks, but. Not only did I not watch, uh, or have I never seen One Piece, on top of having never seen One Piece, I also chose to watch a Netflix uh, true crime limited series last night called Bad Vegan. I only saw a couple of episodes of it so far, but I gotta say, for somebody who's talked some smack about uh, Netflix true crime documentaries lately, it's actually, it's, um, it's compelling. I have not watched the Tinder Swindler, and I don't think I will. Bad Vegan has been kind of, uh, it's been a little fun so far. It's about a, uh, a very successful restaurateur who ends up uh, getting seduced by a man who tells her that her dog will live forever if she just gives him a lot of money, and things go bad from that point forward. You gotta have a shredder. Early on especially, you gotta have a shredder. Is it better or worse than The Invisible Man? I mean, that's tough. Because, like, documentaries, in a way, are kind of cheating because they didn't have to write the story themselves. I would like to place a shredder, please. Just just kill some units so I can place a shredder. Come on, just a little more. There we go. The Invisible Man, they had to write that story themselves. You know, so I give them a lot of credit. This one, they just had to, like, Google craziest news stories of the 2010s. I would like to make mortars burn. I mean, this is, like, a, an insanely cursed layout so far. Are you seeing this? Hey, Olay Body Wash, thank you for the, the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you. You know, I don't really care about Olay Body Wash, the uh, product, but I do have to say, I want to talk to whoever does their ads. Those ads are iconic, where they show, like, you know, the rejuvenating cream stacks up against the $400 cream, and then it's like a little tub, but inside of the tub, they model, like, a bunch of collagen molecules, like, whipping around like this. They're doing some impressive, like, visual graphics for cosmetic ads. With coenzyme Q10. Let's make mortars even better. They really sell me? I just don't understand. Like, I've got... Uh, yeah, okay, you got me. I, I do watch cable. I mean, that's where Survivor's on. So I had, this is how I see every advertisement. But... Um, I don't understand why they don't... If they have one cream that's rejuvenating... They have one cream that's lifting. They have one cream that's brightening. It said makes your skin 2x brighter, which to me actually sounds like a threat. Like that that's not something that I desire for myself. I think I'm already like glistening, but at some point we're going to need mana. But not yet maybe. Do we even we don't even oh we have one mana based tower. I w I'm just going to be honest, I do want an obelisk. Once we get our economy, I'm going to want that obelisk. Um, but I just don't understand, why don't they put all of the elements? Why don't they put the... Oh my god, dude, this layout. <laughs> why don't they put the lifter, the lightener, and the rejuvenator all in the same cream? Are they gonna, like, do they have a chemical interaction where it'll cause your skin to melt off? Because otherwise, I want them all in the same cream. It seems like a great way to make your product better. Anyway, thank you to, uh... I don't want to say your name because it looks like it's a swear word in Danish, okay? Thank you for the gifted subscriptions to... X... F... I... Asterisk, 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 okay? I don't know if Twitch has the regex to stop Scandinavian swears. I don't want to get clipped saying something that will, like, screw up my Copenhagen base, okay? 
That being said, I will take concussive shells three. All right, what are we doing here? This I don't know what to think about this layout, man. Why are you throwing away my points like this? Because look at the damn layout, man. I don't know what the hell to do. It's 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 crazy. It's this shit looks like in the second uh, Matrix movie when Morpheus. And Neo are walking through the hallways with the key master and like all the Agent Smiths are coming out of the doors. You need a monkey gunner. So true. Okay, here's my game plan right now, okay? Oh my god! <laughs> Build up your the rest of your economy here to the extent you're able. Get one obelisk that can melt the first boss. Place me, place me. And then, take it from there. At least these are probably gonna expand in this direction. Feel free to chalk this one up as a loss. No, I almost feel like more branching paths could be kinda good because it, they, may, in my head I'm like, I, I feel like it increases the value of uh, upstream AOE. We just don't want them to all come out at the same time, especially with shredders. Okay, I'm going to continue. Like, the mortars are getting freaking pogged, man. Hey, Trees Treesus is king. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I get it. I've watched uh, Genius. Genius? It's not Genius. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm just thinking. We got we got time here. Okay, expand me this way. And now the ballistas are at... I actually feel like we could upgrade ballistas if we get a nice little, like, double-spine situation going on here. Are you a college basketball fan at all? I love uh, college basketball. How are the uh, University of Ottawa Golden Griffins doing this year? Are they they used to have a really good team at U of O. I mean, I, I can't talk about it. I, mean, I didn't even go to Carlton. I didn't even get to see the Ravens play. I went to Queens. So, like, I mean, I think we had a basketball team. That, but the Golden Gales football team is what it was really all about. That one year that we won the um, Canadian National Championship. Or as we call it, the, the Timbit Bowl. Give me better bleed. And then let's start to think, so right now the longest path is this one. So next round we want to expand like here, so that he comes out here. Maybe an obelisk on the, uh, <laughs> no, you should be more downstream. By the way, X cereal milk, thank you for the gifted subscription as well, thank you. I really want you to be on a plus two, man. And Treasus is king. Thank you again as well. Thank you. I mean, I feel like I could I could shove you there and hope for the best. But I also wish to place down probably two mana banks is my guess. Oh my god, it turned. How dare you? Okay, I feel like we're okay. This this path is cursed, but honestly, the more blessed the path, the more disappointing the loss. Ergo, according to the central tenets of the Monty Hall problem, the more cursed the path, the more uplifting the results. I guess I do hate that the obelisk doesn't hit this path or this path, but... <laughs> I don't know. These could portal off soon. I don't know if we want them to portal off, though. I don't know. We're going to need more mana banks to keep this obelisk running. That's for sure. So let's let's get a couple more of these. I, I would max them out, honestly. You're not dead yet? Dead on Oogie Doubter payout incoming? What? Do you, I'm not going to die to Oogie. We have an obelisk. As long as we spawn him on the right path, the Oogie stands no chance. Don't even start me off there. 
I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm going to make my mortars do more damage uh, to shields. Because we have, like, literally no shield uh, specialization at all. I understand that, like, you're not the best at this. But at least it's something. It's still AoE damage. Okay, now, we got 601 gold. The obelisk, uh, obelisk <clears throat> has to fire, so let's put this down. And we need to spawn Oogie here. So let's expand here. You need to target always most armor, then most health. What's your shield damage? Nil. So then we'll target least shields. Okay. As long as the obelisk has mana, I'm not sweating it. I would... On, the, the game lives or dies on us having enough mana. I think we're going to be fine right here. Now, this, we're, we're going to get, like, four upgrades or something. This would be a great time to just get a bunch of passive upgrades. <laughs> we already have tower types. We need shield damage. I'm trying to think about... I guess, like, we could have... Uh, people will be mad if I have the, if I have a, a Tesla coil and a poison sprayer. People are going to be like, oh, I'm so mad right now. Look at this. Still melting pretty... He's got poison, he's got a... Why are you shooting? Oh, that makes sense, actually. Because somebody had some armor. It's alright, he melted them in like two seconds. We're gonna be fine. He's done. <clears throat> I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Twitch dads be like... This is, a, I feel like, let's focus on the positive. We have a lot of good things going on here. I feel like we need a particle cannon. But we also need AoE shield destruction. I like poison mortars. I like AoE mortars. I like quality over quantity late. You previously wanted ballistas? I changed that. My main goal now is to blow up and act like I ain't know nobody. <clears throat> hey, Loki had a medkit. Thank you as well. Thank you. All right. Well, if, if poison is for shields, let's focus on upgrading our poison sprayers then. I will make our mortars get blast radius, thus amplifying their existing buffs. I will make mortars even better. I don't think we need sorcery yet. They only gave me one upgrade. Are you a, are you a coward? How did, how did that happen? And then we got to focus more on the AoE. So we need more poison spreaders. I would prefer to stack them up like at the choke points. But the problem is the only choke point is so close to our base that if we focus all of our efforts here, we're not going to have time. That's a serious issue. So instead, I think we got to put down like a poison sprayer, like at maybe like here to start some DOT on these four paths. And then like maybe another poison sprayer here for the people who get by. I mean, this is a disaster <laughs> in terms of like the, <laughs> the way that this looks, but. Um, and then let's, let's give me some slight expansion in this direction. See this, now we're starting to create some interesting, like, intersectable choke points here that, that appeal to me. But we got a ways to go. I'm feeling okay for now. 1600 gold for once I actually think we have to deploy it immediately so remember we got I think mortars are actually amazing for us right now because we have a map that's it's almost like I, you're gonna laugh at me and you're gonna say question mark question mark question mark 
But this seems like this map is almost like a circle to me. Instead of a line, it's basically like, what is a square? Like we got these paths, this, this shit no longer looks like Final Fantasy 13. It looks like an aerial map of Boston. Most Rogue Tower maps are like, and then they, like at the end, they're like, this one is like literally, it's like, so like, I think our AOE towers are actually going to be uh, more effective or, or towers that have like a circular large range are going to be more effective as a result. That's, that's my thinking. So I'm thinking like, honestly, mortars are your most cost efficient unit right now. Did I put you on least shield? No, slowest. That was smart. That was good. Thank you, brain. Good autopilot. <clears throat> we crushed this uh, round. This was no problem. I do want some... Uh, I do want a university upgrade. I think I will take a university upgrade so we can start to work towards the, the passive crit chance. And then, I'm like, you know, while we're here, give me a plus three mortar. This might seem a little goofy. It might be a little goofy, but... Is one of our only plus threes. Give me a plus three mortar right here. You also do have mana problems. That's true. You know what? Thank you for illuminating that. Our next upgrade will be focused around mana banks. I don't think the obelisk firing is a deal breaker for us on these waves, but definitely for the uh, definitely for the boss is going to be important. I'm okay with that. I think. The final choke point is the only one that matters. This is where I go, like, spoken like someone who's never won Rogue Tower, and then you go, actually, I platinum the game. But, like, every time, I, I've always thought, like, why would I put down a tower in a situation where uh, it doesn't hit all of the enemies it could possibly hit? And then the the thing that ends up happening to me, happening to me is, like, for 40 waves, I look like a genius, and then at the end, like, an enemy that spits out enemy spawns. Uh, and it only starts to get affected 90% of the way through its path, and then it spits out enemies that just kick the shit out of us because we don't have enough runway to actually kill them. So I think I think we gotta distribute the load a little bit. I see a portal already. How though? <laughs> How? I'm going to make my mortars even stronger because we're focusing on them. I'm going to expand you slightly. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> There's your portal. Now that I... I was like, you don't know what you're talking about. And then I thought about it for a couple of seconds and I was like, you're a genius. Okay. A couple of mana banks. Still, I don't think we need sorcery quite yet. It's only four mana per second. Don't even get out of bed for that. Now, if we could get like a poison sprayer that hits the portal, or we could even just toss another mortar here and expand this path, I think. But our mortars are getting like really strong. I think we might be like a mortar based team here. It kind of scares me when it misses though. Siphons would be nice right about now. I hope this doesn't come across as toxic. Um, everything would be nice at all times. There's nothing I could get that really wouldn't be nice. Everything comes with the counterfactual trade-off. No matter what they offer us, there's always going to be something where people are going to... If we take the uh, sorcery or the mana siphons, people are going to be like, it would be nice to have like more DOT right now. If you take the DOT, people are like, your mana's in trouble. As the design of a good game is that you're constantly trading things, you know? You got to think about the opportunity cost. Give me even more. A, any mortar upgrade is going to be high on the list for me right now. We have 2,500 gold. I still love mana. And I still love mortars. I'm hoping... Let's look at this for a moment. You know what? That, that spray is enough for me to be pleased, I think. And then we expand here. I feel like you should target progress, though. But then when this wave's done spawning, it'll start spitting at these guys. I love that. <clears throat> and then, I gotta be honest with you, 
I think I love like a, a little plus three, plus three, maybe even another plus three here in a second. In a second, there we go. And then give me some uh, most armor, most health, slowest. And then give me some most armor, most health, slowest. And then uh, I'll, I'll just spend the whole wave clicking on this if that's cool with you guys. Most armor, most health, slowest. I will make... I mean, I would love mana bombs. You know what? I feel like this is going to screw us if we don't have the mana base for it. But if we do have the mana base for us, it's going to pop. So this is basically like, do you want to live forever with a 5% chance of immediate obliteration? I'm taking it. And then, I, what are you? You're level four. I wish I could just turn you off for a second. I wish I could just be like, mm, just chill, okay? Let's see how our man is doing. We, we, we can expand capacity as required. My points, my points. <laughs> Our man is doing fine right now. You just got to remember. You know, we got to pay attention to it. Now I would like to place down some more mana. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Maybe like one more right there. One more right there. There you go. Okay. Now I wouldn't mind a, a sorcery pickup. D dude, you see how much amped up our damage output was there? That was crazy. Like, these guys, they didn't make it anywhere. This path needs to be expanded for sure, though. I wish I doubted. This is the best line I've ever been on. Like, we're actually doing okay. I know I say that every run, but... And then we make mortars even stronger. Give them some extra poison damage, man. And then this path needs to be expanded. We only have 500 gold right now. It's going to loop them back into the ballista range. Then we throw down another mortar. And we say, you know, you already know what's happening here. It's going most armor, most health, and slowest. Now, I have noticed there are some faster enemies making it. This is where your ballistas come in. It's no big deal. It's no big deal at all. Fast enemies, though, is going to be a bit of a problem. <laughs> we need more DOT. And we need it early. Because it's still the short path is the scariest one. Mana is still an issue as well. I, I can't believe how many mana banks I've had to put down here. <laughs> this is great, though. If we could also get enemies to get slowed by a, a proportion of their overall poison, I would be stoked. We take Sorcery 1. An extra 6 mana per second. You've still got to be expanded, but we got to put a DOT on you earlier. Like, I, I sort of feel like even just throwing... Does this work? I'll live with it because it's on a plus three. But the positioning is slightly cursed. But all of our positioning is slightly cursed. Plus three? Oh, thank you. I didn't realize that was even a joke. Look at this. This is totally fine. A couple of little weak boys slip past. They get killed by, like, our Giga Chad Ballistas. We got nothing to worry about. Man is doing great. 32 mana per second. We got the Rainbow Mortars. Look, it's just one little dude. What's he doing? Chat, cereal or milk in the bowl first? Is there a neither option? Let's let's take shredders that do more bleed damage. And then I think it's okay to put a shredder at the at the choke point that's later cuz it shoots downstream. 
2600 gold man is fine is not a boss wave give me i have no idea where to put these shredders you eat them separately no i eat cereal on occasion and i don't drink milk at all maybe as an ingredient and stuff but you know that's not that's not up to me that's up to the baker and the butcher and the candlestick maker I have no idea where this would fit. You know what? Let's give me one here. That should have. Well, no, give me one here. This should have a long runway, as long as it shoots this way predominantly. It's like we should almost have this one shoot it like slowest or something. And then give me because what it was plus one hundred percent bleed. Our bleed cap's not that great, but still. And I feel like we could have like one here to shoot at these ones and then i mean this is like we're going a little wider than i'd like how about like one here to shoot down this path okay it's it's strange and i have like way too many expansion options like it's too much we got it the way we lose easily right now you think we could portal this nope the way we lose easily right now is by accidentally spawning the boss on the uh, on the wrong line. I'm not super worried about that yet. You just gotta remember it. I don't doubt you. I just believe in Oogie. Well, that the whole reason the obelisk exists is just because it does good single target damage. That's the it's the only tower we have right now that accomplishes that. Boss always spawns on the longest path. Well, there's a wrinkle in time though. Ava Duvernay, it spawns on the longest path ex except for the one that you just expanded that round. You got to go crit chance, but I will say Extra 15 mana per bank would also make sorcery a lot better, but 15% crit chance seems incredible. Okay, ballistas are actually... This is great because our ballistas will get a little more work, which means they'll actually level up, which means they'll we have a little bit more hopium towards the end. I think, I think there's a lot of positivity there. And then I'm like, you know, how about like three more mortars? They're doing good work for us. Our mana's doing okay. Most armor, most health. Slowest. Most armor. Most health. Slowest. At some point, and maybe that point is now, we'd probably rather make our existing mortars better because they won't have expanded mana cost. Rather than buying new ones. Okay, next round is the boss. Straight up, even more AoE on a mortar. Okay. Oh, we can use these now. True, true. I wish there were spots here, but that's okay. We got 3,400 gold. This is an important round. Leveling up mortars will increase your mana cost, though. What the hell? Two per shot? Let, let's take a look at this. Three per shot? I can't place universities. I don't have any occult shrines yet. What a scam. Still? Are you seeing how cheap these levels are? I'm going, man. Give them give big ones. You're, where do we want them to spawn? We want them to spawn here. No, we don't. <laughs> Wait, do we? I'm like... Are you the longest path? I think I, I don't want to count the damn tiles, but I'm like, I feel like I want you to spawn like here. So I would expand this side because this side kind of scares me. And then you would spawn elsewhere. I think I click this. That way you're forced to travel past the obelisk no matter what. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very smart. Very smart. You can use keyboard and press one, two, three to do upgrades quickly. Holy cow. 
actually like the largest quality of life um, increase I've ever heard in this game. Dev in chat, Dev in chat. I shouldn't have done that one. That one was really expensive. <laughs> this one's not though. Okay, let's think here, okay? Just a few extra levels is no cost. We definitely want this path to have a shredder. Oh, it does. It's just, it's late, but that's okay because it shoots further. Maybe okay is not the right word, but it's not that bad. I think we're ready to send it right now, but we're going to get a nice influx of gold immediately. What would you like to do with this influx of gold? I would say, honestly, I would like some DOT a little earlier on, the, on this path. Because we don't really have that much hurting you here. So I would say, like, we hit you here. Maybe put a poison spreader on this one or this one. On this plus three. That looks great to me. I'm okay with that. And then you know what? Hit me with that. I'm telling you, there's no... I Maybe I'm wrong. I don't feel like there's a great reason to put down universities now. Because they don't reap any benefits. We don't have any occult shrines. We have the university upgrade to open up the cards for us to get the passive upgrades, but we don't have uh, we don't have any merit to putting down a university right now. Okay, zombie oogie. This is where I wish I had some particle cannons, but chat told me don't worry about it. They said you don't have anything to fear. I'm still feeling pretty good. The, the obelisk is a big part of this. We want the shield. We, we, you know what the problem is here? No poison on you is actually a, a sincere issue. We do it. The poison. I think you're dead. I got nothing to worry about. They're done. You got to remember. Look at all the upgrades on our uh, on our mortar. Here, I'll move it over here so you can see. The mortars are probably doing more poison than uh, than the poison spreaders right now. Just because we got so much more of them. So many more of them. Okay, easy mode. Um, I'm going to make my mortars even better with poison. I'm going to make my mortars... You know what? We could probably use some mana lifesteal, actually. Never mind. Now we can get occult shrines. I feel like I would like to expand this path. Oh, okay. I'm a believer. Let's pop those down. We don't have to invest in them yet because it only happens. The, the trigger for it only happens at the start of a round. So we can see if we need to deploy this gold elsewhere for the moment. Give me a poison spreader at a relatively early choke point. I think we could use one here as well. This gets a lot of people. Let's put it on this plus one, just so it has a plus one. So my, in case you're curious, because I got a lot of gold just burning a hole in my pocket right now. My plan right now, if we need to deploy our resources to win this round, we will do so. Otherwise, we're going to invest in this university. I think we can go quality over quantity here now. Like, I know we got a lot of towers, but it seems like a great time to get their, uh, their crit chance up a little bit. We have... Probably we're going to have like 6,000 gold, okay? <clears throat> we don't have the upgrade for the plus ones yet. So everything should get a 1, 2, 3... It's so cheap. And then... Let's go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> That's way worse than I thought. <laughs> uh, way more expensive, I should say. And then you need a 1, 2, 3. Go for magic, because we're actually pretty good on armor. And then you'll go for armor with whatever remains, which is not as good for us, but that's okay. All right, now, so what are we looking at? 
Yeah, you got 19 rounds to pay out, and you're paying out at like a, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to crunch the numbers, but each one is roughly a, you know, an 11% chance. 11% chance times three, roughly one in three chance we get an upgrade here. Don't Melvin me, I understand. This is a back of the napkin calculation. This is on Apollo 13 when you're on the dark side of the moon, you can't talk to mission control. You have to calculate it yourself in your head because they didn't even give you a pen because the NASA spent $10 million developing a pen that could write upside down in zero gravities. And the, and the, and the USSR just used a pencil, man. They just used the pencil. Okay, now expand me again. Well, well, well. One moment. One more university, please. Thank you. And we'll talk about that in the next... Uh, at the end of this wave, hopefully. Fun internet facts. Forward, forward, forward. Re, re, re. Forward, forward. You won't believe this. You gotta see this. Fun, fun lies to start your Monday morning with. As long as we're talking about the Cold War space race, though, Cosmonaut is such a better name than Astronaut. It's not even close. All right, that was good. I would like my banks to store more mana, honestly. And that's going to help out sorcery as well, so I'm, I'm loving that. Now... Always one, two, three. Always one, two, three. And then I really want to focus on magic, for sure. And then let's have the other one focus on health. I really think our mortars do super well with just their... Okay, that's fine. They, our mortars do super well at, at crushing the armor. One more here. So health and shields are like, that's our weak point right now. It is crazy, though. American astronauts are called astronauts. Russian astronauts, cosmonauts. In America, most popular magazine, Cosmopolitan. In Russia, most popular magazine, Astropolitan. Really makes you think. I am con minus two. It deserved. Like, highly deserved. By the way, plus one shield damage already incoming. Forward, forward, forward. Why do we walk on a driveway and drive on a parkway? Wait, that's not how that works. What a shot. Do you see in these mortars, though? My god. We don't need more mana right now. We need a lot more damage. Let's have... Our, anytime they give us an option for a mortar upgrade, mortar has to be our most common tower. We gotta invest there. Now, this time... I'm like, let's get these paths to be at different lengths. This is a scary path as well. I wouldn't mind throwing down one more poison spreader right here. Upgrade your universities, though. Yeah, but they're so expensive. I'm waiting for one more occult shrine before I pop down the other one. Although this could open up this last area on our occult shrine here read the upgrades that wasn't a mortar upgrade what was it paying for unity upgrades increases your investment exponentially i don't know if that's just you can't just say exponentially it's like per chance you can't just say per chance You gotta, like, the cost also increases. I wish it worked like that, but, you know, I, if, if possible, the dream scenario is that I would get an unlimited amount of occult shrines, and then as a result, I would just go extremely wide with universities, because the 500 cost to put down a university is trivial compared to the 2,000 cost to get it to, like, a 10% chance of giving us a reward. We don't live in a perfect world, so I gotta make a bet. And I'm, I'm hedging my bets and I'm saying, you know what? A 12% chance on each university seems pretty good right now. I wouldn't mind as long as... If we have five universities, I would rather get 
maybe them to 20 so that we have a realistic chance of like one upgrade per turn. But I also want to put down towers so we don't die. Because like the fast units are, are starting to get a little closer. For now, it's tough. It's a tough question. I'm not going to deny it. I'm, I'm pushing you. I'm pushing you in one direction here. Giving these three cool mortars a better chance to shoot. Our shredders are... They could use a little more juice. This We just need some AoE up here. Let's see how things look after this. We didn't get an occult shrine. So if we don't need to invest to stay alive, we can invest in our existing universities. Plus, we just got two extra upgrades right there. Fast movers, AoE shields. That's our problem right now. But our mortars actually have, like, better shield damage. Like, let's just take a look. They're doing almost as much damage to shields as they're doing to HP, which is, I think, that's a positive sign. I'm going even deeper on mana bombs. I'm sure it's going to double the mana cost, but we don't have anything to worry about right now in, with respect to that. We've been at a great position. Now, one of you is only at level 10. It's this one. You're going more into armor. And then why don't you give me a 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. 1, 1, 1, 3, 3, 3. I feel pretty good about that. Expand me again. This is an interesting... I mean, there's no way we're not putting down a plus 5 on this, even if it seems like it has limited impact. Its base damage is going to be insane. We picked up another bit of shield damage. Like, this is probably the best university I've ever had. And we're only on level 30. And you definitely could use a, you know what, how about a 2? How about a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. <laughs> Don't stop till you're numb. And look at this, our mana's doing great. We st Fast enemies are an issue, AoE is an issue. Especially at the end. Because if something makes it by, like, you know, that area, we got some problems. But I kind of want a particle cannon, but I've been told that it's foolish, so I'm not going to do it. But all the other upgrades suck. I choose to pass. I pass on this one. I am going to take Poison Spreader's damage health. Now, I do think this is literally just called the hedging your bets. An obelisk here for anything that makes it past us means that no weak unit is ever going to survive this. Some strong units might survive this, which is fine. I can live with that. But this, no weak units will ever get past it unless they come, like, en masse. Now, expand me again. This is exactly what the frick I was looking for. So if we have more gold, we're going to focus on another university upgrade. This time we got screwed. This time we got screwed. We did not get any upgrades. But another university is going to help us out a great deal. This one even has three spots. Mana, still not an issue, honestly. Not yet. Now, when it rains, it pours, but... <clears throat> We're only at a deficit when both obelisks fire simultaneously. You know what? Just to stay safe, mana bank's pretty cheap. Let's just toss them down. Let's do the best we can. <clears throat> I'm really glad I put that obelisk down when I did. <laughs> no SAP in a few days. Honestly, here, give me a sorcery. I'm not saying this to be that guy. 
We played Super Auto Pets yesterday. There's one to two Super Auto Pets videos every day on YouTube as well. Now, we got 6,000 gold. Check this out. Like this. Universities, one, two, three, then one, 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 one. Let's go there. One, two, three, two, 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 and then one, two, three, 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 and then honestly, give me some more armor. It's imbalanced right now. We could use some more armor. And then we're hoping to see this number minimum of six. Minimum of six here. It came to five. Now this is why you always go higher in negotiations. Because I, I'm happy with five. I would have preferred six, but if I said five, they might not have given me anything. These ballistas are leveling up, man. Like, look at that one. It's level three already. Holy cow. Amazing. We're still doing okay, but it is it's starting to get a little spicier. Enemies are making it further, but I think we got to acknowledge that, like, because of the jank layout of our map, like, enemies are always going to make it further than I'd like them to make it. This is not, like, one long path where we can, like, whittle them down. We got we to gotta have, like, a distributed power curve right here. Anyway, we crushed them. They didn't even, like, screw us on, uh... On the, uh, on the, the fast-moving, like, squid or whatever they are. Like, they, none of them made it. That's incredible. How do you raid time? Hey, Kino, thanks for the raid. You're just in time to see my brain overloaded by, um, arithmetic and probabilistic math. I'm scared. Anyway, I'm gonna take something that gives us the best possible advantage. Obviously. Um, straight up, dude. The wider a runway we build for math or for uh, mana, people might be like, oh, you don't have a mana problem. That's true, but I think mana is like money, you know? I'm not going to say you can never have enough. I'm just going to say that if you ever hit zero, you got some serious issues. And that's what's happening right now. I want to minimize the chance for us to hit zero, because if we hit zero, our mortars can't fire, and we lose immediately. It's not about getting the mana number as high as possible. It's about building in the largest capacity so that it never, you know, loses us the game. Okay, now, 3,700 gold. Then get higher percentages. <clears throat> there was no sorcery upgrade there. You're creating another false dilemma. This is a classic rhetorical device that causes the simple-minded to agree with you. You need to evaluate versus the counterfactuals that were actually available, okay? You can't come up with a fantasy. Why, don't, why didn't you take the upgrade that gave you plus 100 damage to all towers? Well, as soon as that shit shows up, I'm clicking it in a heartbeat, okay? I'm so smart. More damage would be good here. I'm so smart. Infinite mana would be great. Yeah, it doesn't exist. As Austin Powers, uh, the inimitable Austin Powers said... I want a toilet made of solid gold, but some things just aren't in the cards, baby. So, shall we shag now or shag later? Another university? This is a dream come true? Four thousand gold. We wait, because we may need to deploy that right away. Honestly, just to stay on the, on the safe side, I'm gonna get these shredders upgraded a little bit. And then, whatever money we have left over, we can use to get that next university popping. And the boss comes wave 35. What's your favorite Austin Powers joke? Old heads will already know this. I've got a real soft spot for at the start of the second movie, um, when it turns out Vanessa was a fembot, and then Austin Powers kills her 
and calls Basil exposition, and he goes, it turns out Vanessa was a fembot. And then the inimitable Michael York says, yes, we knew all along, sadly, and then doesn't elaborate any further. Great moment. Just sends your head spinning, right? You're like, what the heck? They knew all along? Why'd they set him up with her? Doesn't make any sense. They had a double agent fembot in the whole first... It just the connotations for the Austin Cinematic Universe are, are crazy. I don't know what to take here. I'm going to say we're going to increase our bleed. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy wasn't there. Austin... Pa I'm just going to say it. He's got some relationship issues, man. It's a sad story. Like, those movies are kind of a tragedy. I'm going to go five in health. Five in armor. Five in studies of magic. And then I'm going to do one each. Except for that one, I'm going to do two. Okay. <clears throat> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Portolmi? Not the boss wave yet. Another university spot. Okay, we're only at six, dude. We, you gotta admit, we've been low rolling. Getting to campus must be a pain in the ass with these goblins in the way. Godzilla, King Kong. Loch Ness, a monster with no conscience. Everything seems pretty good right now. Oh, I'm not going to spend my money because there's a there's a bimodal curve for when the best time to spend your money is, okay? If we need to spend our money to survive this wave, the best time to spend it is now. We'll react in response to that stimulus. However, if we're not requiring raising our power level immediately to survive, then the best thing we could do is invest in our future. Collect that risk premium. I mean, I'm definitely taking mortars get even stronger. Um, and we didn't need it to survive. So here's what you do. Okay, now you throw down two more universities. And honestly, these ones have got to go hard into the health studies and hard into the armor studies because our shields are actually doing great work for us right now. in my opinion, such as. Okay, there you go. Ipso facto per chance. That's, a, that's an interesting mathematic question, right? Because there's a, and this is, you could people talk me, that's fine. Someone in chat says 10, one 10% is better than 10 1%. Let's ignore the financial cost of that. Let's assume the financial cost is equal, which it obviously isn't, because levels cost more as you get higher, but also to be able to make 10 level ones, you need to spend five grand on 10 universities. Am I making the classic human mistake where I'm like, really? Because a 10% chance of an upgrade seems pretty good, but what about the one in... 10 million shot that I get 10 upgrades on the same turn. What about that moon ball where I pick the lottery numbers exactly correct and that incredibly rare event actually happens? It's not the gambler's fallacy until you prove it's the gambler's fallacy. 10 1% on average is 9.9%. .9%. Is there a, is this one of those graphs where there's like a crossover point? Like at at 20% is it better to have 10 twos?
Because let me put it this way. If you gave me the choice between 99... Hold on, let me think. <laughs> If you gave me the choice between 90, if you gave me the choice between 99 100% upgrades and 103 99% upgrades, I'm taking the 103 99% upgrades any day of the week. VOD watchers skip skip 4 years. We're getting our PhD right now. FYI, you're missing one university spot. Hold on. Is this true? Does this does a university built on a well, I don't have enough gold right now. But does a university built on a hill perform as well? Because UBC, very low altitude. SFU, very high altitude. And you could just check the McLean's rankings and see how that worked out for them. It's actually still a very well-respected institution. But anyway. Um, okay, this is boss wave. Think about it for a second. Where do we want the boss to spawn? We want it to hit two obelisks. So I would ideally like the boss to spawn right here. In that case, I will upgrade this. Now, knowing that this is about to happen. I can't, I don't have gold to put down anything anyway. We might as well just expand and then we'll talk about it. Okay. He did not spawn where I thought he would spawn. That means he's going to miss one obelisk. I don't think it's a deal breaker, but it is kind of annoying. Now, he's not going to really take a lot of damage for quite some time. Let's augment that by throwing down a quick poison spreader. Making sure that he gets a little DOT on him. Just making sure we get... Just giving him a little... Uh, a little how's your father. Say it, don't spray it. All-time great comebacks. No shit Sherlock. Say it, don't spray it. Act your age, not your shoe size. That's so funny, I forgot to laugh. I'm loving our AoE. Single target scares me. I'm, dude, we got nothing to worry about. I'm telling you, it's the mana mortars. Our mana mortars are just going to melt them. Mango missiles? They didn't even spawn. They just died. Smooth move x -lax. Oh, that one stings. That one stings when it hits. There's no doubt about that. Last time I heard that, I fell off my dinosaur. More mortars, please. More mortars. Thank you, thank you. These, at least the mangoes are dying immediately. More mortars, please. He's dead. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't even scared. It's just a. It's just a, ain't, ain't nothing but a peanut. Spent about four thousand gold on panic buying, but that's okay. Just a reflex. Reflex. Um, do more damage to health, I think, but it, not my favorite upgrades. Okay, now hold on. We got another university possibility here. We don't have a ton of gold to spend with it. Oh, this chest, his chest. He even came with his chest. Let's mortars better is a given. Let's raise our poison maximum as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like no gold remains, but let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now we got ten extra levels. We do need more damage, but I mean, that's kind of what I'm banking on happening here. Is that we get more damage. Um, we got a huge, we got like three bonus damage levels there. Let's go. Four? Let's go. It's actually happening. What a rush. That's why we bet on width. I'm starting to think it might be happening. I don't even know which path is the scariest right now, which I think is positive. Oh, 
Okay, these guys have a lot of HP. That is frightening me a little bit. But only one of them made it by. The mango missiles are literally nothing because we have such good AoEs. That was the easiest wave I've ever seen. We have 7,000 gold to invest how we see fit. Raise the... This is... I think no matter what, you're stoked, okay? Poison cap being higher seems great, okay? But also, all enemies will be bleeding at all times. To also have a 5% crit chance on them seems amazing. I'm taking that. Give me that crit chance. Now, I don't think this is a university round, although I'd like to get all of you to 10 at least. I think this is a, an upgrade round. I don't know if I'm putting more towers down at this point. Although, now that I think about it, basically, every time we spit down a level 1 tower, it's actually going to go down. Even if we put it on a plus 0 spot, it's going to go down... As a, as a level 12, right? Because of these upgrades that we got here. That's correct. I'm almost like... I mean, there's a part of me then that says, you know what? First off, I think shredders are still cheap because we placed almost none. But ballista spam. I'm like, maybe ballista spam is actually the way to go here. Given the fact that we have so many, like, flat upgrades coming in. I wouldn't mind a Shredder, don't get me wrong. But I'm also taking an opportunity here to look at, like, the cheapest Ballistas that money can buy. They're getting slightly more expensive, but I, I don't care. This chat is so divided between this is idiotic and this is the smartest thing I've ever heard in my life. I don't think there's a doubt. I think it's the smartest thing I've ever heard in my life, quite frankly. 450, please. Thank you. Does this one even hit? Plus, we got some extra upgrades there. We got two upgrades. I'll take that. This seems good. Like, this guy's not gonna make it. He hasn't even made it into Obelisk range. You see, it was like, bzz, he just killed him instantly. You form your own opinions. I've, I've formed mine based on the popularity of them. We are not the same. At least it's acknowledged. I do the same thing in other chats. Like, in when I'm streaming, I have to, you know, I have to go my own way and call it, like, another lonely day or whatever, like Stevie Nicks. But... When I watch other people stream, I just wait for like the results of what they chose. And if the results are bad, then I go, why would you do that, lol? If the results are good, I go, Pog, great choice. Okay, that was insanely easy. I'm gonna make my mortars even better. And then, I'm a simple man, okay? I feel like Again, spam does well for you here. Although, did you get to 10 yet? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I still like this. Give me give me some cheap, well, relatively cheap shredders. Because again, they're getting spat out as the functional equivalent of like a level... I don't even know, like a level 14 or something right now. So I'm not going to worry too much about the specific placement. But I am going to put them down for sure. And then I think we expand once more. Dude, am I crazy? We got none that time? None? No upgrades? <clears throat> Plus zero hype? Yeah, if you're a doubter. Hey, Anel, have you ever had Spam Masubi? The, the legitimate answer is that I don't remember. I feel like I have. The anecdote answer is that one time Caden and I went to uh, a Japanese festival in Vancouver that also happened to have some Hawaiian like food trucks there. And I was going to get some Spam Masubi. But then we ended up just leaving because the park that the Japanese festival was in was like a, a super bad vibe. 
<laughs> like, it was like kids in kimonos practicing martial arts, and then also people like passed out and uh, like dying. And I was like, this is this is a little scary. Hey, you know what? This is also a little scary. The tower took some damage. Definitely not going to take banditry, I'll tell you that much. Give me stronger mortars, and then upgrade me. Don't go universities, upgrade me. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Thirteen mana per shot. Oh my god, have you lost your mind? I also love your uh your game plan here. L least health on the obelisk, most health, most armor. It should be most armor, most health. I did it. That way it it prevents our tower from taking the damage from the enemies that are most easily meltable. And then we still got 1900 gold. I love that. Armor's not a huge issue. Yeah, but uh, you know what? I was going to say this thing's ass against shields, but it's really not. I'm just going to, because you're so close to the tower. I'm just going to have you on least health progress progress. Build more mana banks? Doubter doubter is spotted. Please. I am begging you for we're at 13 upgrades right now. I am begging you. Take me to 16. Okay, it took us to 14. That hurts. <laughs> and these, like, the purple enemies are the scary ones right now. They're quick. They're scary. They don't spawn other... They do spawn other enemies when they die. Hold on, though. This is where the DOT is helping you. This is, your obelisk is doing its, its job now. It's actually doing its job. It's that first path that is the scariest for sure. I don't know why I'm going all in on the ballistas. Keep sending them, man. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're good. Poison spreader, obelisk, this is your time. It's not even your time. We don't even need you yet. Okay, I hear you loud and clear. I am a I'm a believer. We need we need AoE. Right now, AoE is the problem. Possibly in the future, the boss will be the problem. Definitely, I love this though. Okay, so we need more ways to stop fast enemies, which you normally spawn in groups. I think God is my witness. I think you expand. Well, I, dude, I mean, like, it's really hard to not just do that and hit you with a quick one, two, three. God is my witness. I think our plan is to spawn more mortars. We have to click the button first. And then we can place three for now. And just just put them in like a spot that has a good chance to hit. Things that are, especially as they get closer to our base, I think. The mortars just by, by themselves are going to be okay. Even without levels, they're going to be okay. You also picked up some upgrades. Oh, baby, I did pick up two upgrades. You're not wrong. Ooh. All right. Um, 
I can't see how this could possibly win. We definitely just lost. There it is. Every time. Round 40, every time. And then I say, let's never play Rogue Tower again. And then next week I play some more. All right, that's Rogue Tower. Return to menu. I kind of hate this game. <laughs> I think I, I, I've now reached the point where I think I'm like, I actually think I just don't like it. And I know that it, that's doubtlessly, I'm not going to pretend to be the bigger man and say it's not uh, inspired by salt. But like every time I play the game, everything's fine. And then I blink my eyes and I'm dead. It needs like some, it needs some tension, man. Otherwise, it's just literally, it's just 99% of the song is like My Bloody Valentine. And then the end of it is like Imagine Dragons. Death is the tension. It's literally, it's like getting hit by a bus. It's not, there's no tension. It's like the end of Stranger Than Fiction starring Will Ferrell. Did I mark her then? Hold on. 